Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about how to paint this pastry in Adobe Photoshop. So let's begin. Here you can see this is the base color palette that I'm gonna use for today's design and you can use these same colors just take a screenshot and use these colors in your Adobe Photoshop or you can just get off your color palettes and start with me step by step also here you can see these are the layers that are pre set up in advance so that our workflow is get so smooth so you can just set up your layers like this make a new layer and just rename them to make things go easy once done with all of these things we can start our process based from the sketching so select your sketch layer from the layer panel go to the toolbar and select brush tool from there we will be working with some of the basic brushes from Photoshop only. Uh, one of those is round stiff brush. So select it, round point stiff. And you can anytime increase or decrease the size. Increase by right rectangle and decrease by left rectangle bracket like this. And I think my 5 point size is good enough. So with the black color in the foreground I'm quickly sketching a pastry like this well your sketch need to be just a simple sketch defining that it's a pastry it need not to be a very professional or very high quality sketch it could be just a simple lines like this so here is the base sketch ready for our illustration now going to the base color layer I will be painting in the base color so how to paint is just select the magic wand tool select the sketch layer click on one area that you want to select go to select menu modify expand X and expand it by two pixels go to base color layer use the G shortcut for color bucket fill and just click it in and you can just switch your color to the required one by going to eyedropper tool shortcut I and click on the color that you need just pick it up and fill it in with color bucket fill too now repeating the same process of selecting it with magic wand in a sketch layer and go to the base color and fill it up there so we are pretty much done with the base color now it's time to add textures and before that I'm going to add masks for the further layers and how to do that and how to do that is just as simple as select the base color layer and hold control click on the layer thumbnail go to the other two layers that are here named as textures and details so go to them and uh, then select in the layer menu below is add layer mask click on that and your mask will be added over there this is very helpful guys as if you are not having any color or anything pre-designed over there still there is a mask in advance to keep your edges clean and you can just hold alt and drag the mask thumbnail from one layer to other to duplicate the same mask for any other layers here go to the eyedropper tool select the darkest color brown that I'm having over here to make some nice edges over there and for that I will be just making it something like this to give some nice textures for pastry randomly scatter and paint your with your brush you can anytime lower the opacity if it seems too much high either you can lower it from the layer or you can lower it from the brush too so now using lasso tool I'm just selecting over the part over there 
duplicating by control J this makes up automatically a new layer and I am lowering the opacity to duplicate it similarly downwards you can just rotate use the transform tool rotate it and make different type of texture now I'm going to add because it's two vector right now so I'm going to add some nice outline textures so for that I will be making a new layer and duplicating the layer mask as earlier now painting with the same brush tool and same color remember that it should be in obesity 100 and not more normal just paint it well like this this is making our edges more organic because it's a bread, a jam and anything like that that is too soft so it could not be such a stiff outline or inline over there so make it more natural with a zigzag kind of flow more to a curvy fine kind of flow and fill it in so here this is pretty much more organic and natural than our stiff kind of outlines so now again I have switched to mode of multiply to add some dark brown textures inside so that it's the chocolate is getting more a rich texture you can anytime switch to different layers because one of the layer is having lower opacity so the textures that I will add over there will be a more subtle kind of thing so switch between the layers and keep adding your textures also on the other hand if you are not interested in using the layer opacity you can just switch your brush opacity over or down and here you can see with the multiply and lower opacity I am making the diagonal lines so that it giving a nice texture on the outer edge similarly just cross hatching those on the other angle don't make it complete line it makes an a stroke form and also keep your opacity lower and lower as you go further going to the detail layer and completely another color that's here the pinkish color so I am going to add with the soft brown brush and soft light you can see how it's giving the color I really like the texture so just keep the opacity low to 20% and there I'm adding a vertical strokes on the side this will give this illustration a more watercolor thing Also with the soft light I am just painting to make the highlights and this is here with the orange color, orange peachy color that is in the here with the orange peachy color that is in the color palette and the same brush I am adding some flavor thing for the bread area of the pastry like this. Now going to the flat brush here opacity lowered down with the same color everything else has same properties I'm just making vertical lines so that this is giving a nice texture to our illustration to the rectangle flat brush um, and the neutral color from here just adding few layer few linear textures like this in the chocolate area with the brown color selected and multiply I'm adding similar texture but with a darker color soft round brush is very helpful for getting the basic watercolor feel to our illustrations so I'm again switching to that classic soft round brush and with the dark brown color selected 
I am just making some shadows for making things look beveled over the side. You can anytime undo if you are not so happy with the results. If you want to undo multiple times, hold Alt, Ctrl and Z so that you keep on undoing to a large number of steps. With the soft light and peachy color selected, I am again painting inside to make it more fruity. And with the dark brown selected, here multiply, slower down your brush size, like go to the brush size like 5 point or 10 and make vertical lines here at some different width you can see how this is adding such a nice texture and making not just our pastry look great but also it keeps adding depth to it now change it to round point stiff brush and lower down the opacity to I think 50 or 80% and just make a few lines on the outer edge so that it gives a definition of a 3D bend and I will be using the same brush with the same properties but a small strokes like this a diagonal, a horizontal, cross hatch so that this does not give to make this illustration a more personal touch a more inky style so isn't it looking great guys i hope your sketches your illustrations have turned to this quality too and now it's time to add shadow and for that i'm using the dark brown color with soft light and make a new layer below all other layers of your illustration. Switch your brush to soft round brush and paint it like this with a smaller brush, brush size with holding it completely like this. Rub it against anything else and just paint it in one stroke. Leave it, paint another stroke and this will just make your overlapping areas darker and darker and the outer edges are much lighter isn't these all giving the watercolor textures now go to the filter blur Gaussian blur I think add a nice blur of 4 to 5 pixels that will be good enough and hit ok we are done with our illustration of our favorite one of the favorite pastries so i hope your illustrations are looking great too and if you like this video please don't forget to like and share with your friends who might be needing these so have fun